Welcome back to Out of Controllers, where I'm continuing to fight these zombie men who bring each other back to life because they're such good friends. I mean, bromance is a beautiful thing. Yeah. I Dead bromance. Well, on the plus side, if you kill this one, mm -hmm. you should... Or if you can kill two of them, then the other will only be able to revive one. Mm-hmm. This is very true. Are they zombies? They're looks like they look like they're struggling in their leg regions. I mean, I think they might have like weird or no peg things. Oh, oh, that's the sword. Okay. Yeah, they and have, then, like, yeah a those are pegs. Thing. And then there's just random f glowy shit floating around them. Yeah, weird okay. necromantic. Rotten food! Yeah! Necromagic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is the rotten food from? Uh, some food. Some, like, probably, like, strawberry or whatever I put in her bag before. That's so helpful. I don't know, man. Rotten <laughs> food comes from a lot of things. Jeez. Mainly anything that's edible. Maybe banana that was there long enough? Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, that might be it. Hmm, okay. Sort of shittier than I wanted, but that's fine. All this darkness to keep hurling at me, dude. <laughs> Something going on. Do we need to talk? <laughs> do, do, do you need to get some things off your chest or, I don't know, write some emo poetry? Are you even trying to get that emo poetry out? <laughs> write better. <laughs> oh my god. And she slaps him in the face with her little glove hand. I think I had about five minutes of emo poetry. Five minutes? Well, because I don't write poetry. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at couching my thoughts and ideas and feelings in flowery, in intentionally flowery language. Mm -hmm. And in intentional, um, intentionally... I know, I know poetry isn't just intentionally vague bullshit, but that's how I, that's, that's how I interpret it because I don't understand a lot of what is being said. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't have the, I, I don't have the energy to bother trying to figure out what they're trying to say this is it. without, you know, someone else going, this is kind of what they were trying to say. And then it's like, oh yeah, I see that mm -hmm. now that you've pointed it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm also not good at form. Which is why I'm not a writer. I, I can write coherently. You write pretty well. And I think I think I write well. It's just not suited towards um, a sweet smell is coming from the bookshelf. Got a deluxe Whoa, shortcake. Whoa, already. Oh, yeah. Shortcake's fucking great. We're putting that in the deck What does it do? Um, I forget. Uh, increases attack by 10. Nice. Only usable in camp. Hmm. Mm. Who for then? Sounds Probably fake. Probably Alice? It's red. I'm going to say it's for Lude. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well. It's for everyone, but like. No. No, sounds. You big. want to. No, no, you can give it to Callus. You want to improve Lude? No. The character we use so no. much. No. Actually, Gabari is better attack yeah, anyway, so it's fucking true. wreck Gabari. Um, awesome. But yeah, so my, my whole thing is just that I'm not good at form, and so I'm not good at poetic, creative, and, or I'm good at creative writing, just not in a more poetic, flowery way. Mm-hmm. And, like, like, we, I don't know if I've ever read about this, but, like, an academic structure of creative writing is, like, I don't know. Of late, it has mostly been, like, let me be vague and shit about my things. And I'm, like, I don't find that interesting. Yeah. Philosophy. We can open the door. Philosophy. That I didn't say that quite as weird as I wanted to. How weird did you want to say? I don't say know. Philosophy, I think. Philly is Sophie. I, Philly Sophie, there we go. It's where you love a horse. <laughs> now that would be Philippus? Philos. <laughs> it's where you love a Sophie. Okay. There you go. Scarlet Shell. I think these are all hand upgrade items. Hand up? Oh, upgrades for, the, for your for your deck. the decks. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, that was not clear when I just said it. Yeah, I was just loud. like, what, how do you upgrade your hand? <laughs> you get more fingers. 
Behind the bookshelf, there's a key with a tag that says literature. Hell yeah. And that is a cookie. Let's see what these magnets do. I want a cookie. Sorry, I'm checking the cards more, but I also am like, what do these do? All That's right. Cal Shella's level. Ooh. Gabari's. Nice. And everyone uh, increases agility. Agility by four. Hmm. Gotta figure out how to make those. And yet, we'll just put that in Liud's deck, I guess. Because, uh, you know, he's really useful. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure he's useful. People like him. Probably? I mean... I don't know. I don't have any particular feelings for him because he's introduced later than everyone else. And so, therefore, he's like, mm, less character growth. Yeah. Also, just as, like, a fact of... I the way know. the game works. I I also just don't like him because as much as I give Callus shit, he's still <gasps> jump change. My favorite card. <laughs> I love jump change. What does it do? Uh, it's coins. Just coins. But what does it do? It changes. Okay. It because at first it's like, oh, a few measly coins that not even a child would bother picking up. Um, and then it's like, but maybe it'll become valuable, and then it kind of might. Okay. And I'm like, yeah. Also, this is ridiculous that I had to move this bookcase to do this jump, because I have wings! Uh, yeah. Um, this world is sometimes bizarre. It's very oh. odd. I was going to say something. What was I saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Liud's character? Oh, yeah. Um, no, not Liud, but... Um, Callus. Callus. As much shit as I give him, he still has this kind of ruthless practicality mm -hmm. that um, you don't see from a lot of protagonists in... Um, literature and in video games um and it's a ruthless practicality that i can very much appreciate and very much get behind mm -hmm. because i too harbor a little bit of that mentality yeah i um, see that <laughs> so it's you know if a character is just fucking ruthless and is like yeah your friends are dead let's strip them down for useful shit i'm like same honestly like i wouldn't Good. quite be as um abrasive about it to the person's face yeah. But it's, like, same, honestly. Yeah, why would you just leave that in the woods for, for it to benefit no one? Like, when you could use it to survive. Yeah. Um, and so... And the fact that that's in a protagonist Ooh. is really intriguing to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, Lude is just... Um, I, I don't know what the moral choice is here. And it's like, all right, buddy. Well, uh... I, I'm you're... not your nanny goat. I'm not gonna... Yeah, your country is the uh, like militarist you, takeover regime. What yeah, do you think? <laughs> your country is actively marginalizing people and actively killing them and actively lying to you and other people. So, you know, um, history. Nice. So, you know, it's, it's like if you think they're right and their methods are just a little more ruthless than necessary, then... That's your call. If you think mm -hmm. that the ends never justify the means, that's also, also your, your call. call. I, I'm mm -hmm. not here to tell you what to think. Yeah. And also, like, not necessarily even guide you through making a choice about it. Yeah. Just, like, like do I, your thing, bro. Yeah, and honestly, I can... The best thing, the or the only thing, really, that anyone can do is kind of tell you what they think about the matter, but they cannot tell you what to think. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, Liu just flails morally and is guilt-ridden because he was possessed temporarily by uh, Mercutio, the evil mm -hmm. god. It's true. Des? Question um, mark? Mm -hmm. I'm still convinced it's that creepy oh, goddess. woman's voice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like, what are you saying? Goddess. God... Because uh, Mer Malpertio has been described as a god. Uh-huh. But, so, I just say god des question mark. Yeah. Like, the, the S the part is in parentheses, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I thought you were saying, like, a separate name, so I was like, w like, who's named S? Yeah, no, that was not clear. It would have been more clear if it had been written out, but. Yeah. Oh, well. That's only when we do subtitles. Oh, god. That would, I'm going to pay someone to do that if that ever becomes yes, a thing. Yes, that would be the best, honestly. Make me famous, internet famous internet so I can <laughs> do subtitles for all of my videos Ugh. of us talking over each other. Well, no, you are first going to get uh, speech lessons and learn how to not talk over people. 
seems fake. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do that. Um, that's the thing I want to do, actually. Uh, that I that I probably when I get a real job and living my own life, I'm gonna be like, yes, I will definitely sink real money into this as a thing. Um, yes, <laughs> soft iron. What the fuck? All right, mm. that's fine. I don't need an explanation. Um, do 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 do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Why are the little little gemstone things in this area black? Ruby earrings. Ooh. Goodness. Wow. Um, sorry, I'm a huge nerd. You really are. Uh, um, what were you saying? Gemstones and what? Uh, gemstones. What? You mentioned something about the color of the things in this area. Oh, the yeah, the card giddy things oh. are black instead of green. Does well, that? It's at the angle we were looking at it. Okay. It's like, the top of it usually is black, but the front is green, but the front is facing, like, this way, and so we don't see I it. I like we, that you're pointing in an audio I'm, I'm trying to also, po like, point Callus to do an indication on the screen, so it's okay. like, you can't see Callus's face, but his face would be green. Gotcha, okay. Or, like, where the green should be. <laughs> his face is just always green. He's, He's a little sick. seasick. Children's fairy tales are stacked here. Stories you used to listen to at bedtime when you were little. Me, except I actually just once found a book of American folk tales, huh? And just sat down in my classroom and just like read all of them. Wow. Um, which was I think impressive because I think it was like five hundred or so pages. Wow. Of like a book. Um, I'm trying to give not a physical, not like a visual description. But like the length of my forearm. Oh goodness. Um, which is kind of large. It's pretty audience. hefty. Next time on Out of Controllers, uh, we'll continue to explore this library and yeah. possibly talk about books. IDK. I mean, this is the <laughs> this is the place for it. If I'm gonna. Oh god, so. I said IDK out loud, on air. I hate myself. Anyway. Oh come on, we're <laughs> part of the new age. Uh, but it's Lol. so god. <laughs> no. No, that is actually like a punishable offense. All right. Like that you can go to prison for that in in the eyes of everyone you have ever met. Your peers will ostracize you. You'll never be internet famous because you unironically said lol. Hello, oh, baby. Oh. All God. right. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, you guys. Despite the fact that we're garbage. Bye. Bye.